I was driving by Milepost 1 on Highway 1, uh, or Milepost 0, which is a famous landmark, and I noticed there was a spot right next to it. I'm going to try to get a quick uh, video here and quick pictures, but uh, kind of exciting to uh, get a random touristy bonus as I'm driving through town. All right, just got the uh, picture with uh, Gertie in it, which is really the whole goal is just to prove you were there, right? If you feel it, just dance along. Keep the feeling going on and on. If you feel it, just dance along. Dance along, dance along. Yeah. Yeah, if you feel it, just dance along. Got to keep the feeling going on and on. Yeah, if you feel it, just dance along. Dance along. Oh, I just feel so good. Okay, so lots of success. We found a place that I could can stay for a couple nights. Uh, so the weather is really hot in Huben now, and what that means is that we have a southerly wind, and what a southerly wind means is that a cold front is coming. So as the cold front pushes, all that cold air pushes south, it starts forcing the air that's in the way to move north. That's just the way it works in this area of the world. And so the warm air is moving north, which makes it really hot and humid in the Keys and South Florida and, you know, the, depending on the strength of it, it may humidify the whole state and heat it up. But right now I'm worried more about the Keys. As it's heating up, I'm hot and sticky and nasty and sweaty, and that's going to last through about Friday. So I'm going to stay somewhere with a shower until Friday so I can plug in, charge up my batteries really good and also be able to dump, refill my water and everything, so then I'll be good to go for, you know, five to ten, five to seven days if I want to uh, shower free because the weather's going to cool down a lot. I'll probably stay through the weekend and then next week it's supposed to get hot again and then I'll leave the Keys and move back north. Uh, there's a lot of planning involved in all this, but since I'm a former Navy weather forecaster, I have a lot of skills uh, that help me in this situation. I use that to my advantage to stay in nice warm weather. Unfortunately, sometimes that's hot and sticky like it is right now. There's not really much you can do about it unless you have air conditioning. I don't have auxiliary air conditioning, so I kind of use the front of the van to cool down the rest. But if it's hot outside, it eventually gets in and even it even comes in through my vents if I don't physically close all of them. But I can't really just run the AC on high and then just kind of stay in that cool air for the night. But if I'm showered, I'm a lot more comfortable and it's a lot easier so we have a shower for a couple of the hot sticky days I can't check in until this afternoon actually in about 20 minutes I could check in but right now we're checking out this key deer wildlife refuge and so the key deer are a lot smaller uh, cute little creatures I saw them along the side of the road and I saw this refuge on the other side of Sugarloaf Key which is where my campsite is so I came over here and I'm gonna take Winnie on a walk uh, I got myself all mic'd up here. Uh, I really want to show you uh, the beauty of the Keys in a way that appeals to me, which is a nature walk, essentially. It's really hard to get close to the water because there's so many mangroves. The mangrove just lives in the salt marshes and stuff like that, so it makes it hard to just get uh, property or somewhere to spend time along the water or on the beaches. But here, it seems like I can walk through the Keys. It's really wild. There's water on either side of this road, and it's just mangroves everywhere and birds. So this should be pretty cool. Hopefully it works out. Let's go check it out. Winnie's patiently waiting for me. I have her leashed up, and she's just chilling down on the floor, waiting patiently for me to finish this video. Winnie, you want to go cycle for a walk? Want to go for a walk? All right, let's go. Go outside. Good girl.
Well, haven't seen much of anything yet. There's a beautiful walk here. Nice little closed down road. It's amazing, the keys have like a, huge, a lot of history and it's like somebody will come along and do something crazy and then somebody else will come along and do something crazy and they just kind of keep going until recent times when everything became regulated and owned by everybody and all that other stuff. But it's pretty cool down here to see just how different it is. You know, I've driven from the Pacific Northwest through the Rocky Mountains, through the desert southwest, the Southwest, through Texas, through the Deep South, along the Gulf Coast, all the way down along the Gulf Coast, and down through the Everglades, and all the way over to here, and then down uh, 100 miles down along the uh, Keys, down all the way down to Key West, which is the furthest south and the furthest west extent of the Keys. So it's kind of weird by the end, you start off going south out of Florida and by the end you're going almost due west just to get to Key West. So it's a really cool and unique experience to go over those, over that highway. I've done it three times now. I uh, came down here the first time kind of as the sun set. Uh, last time I left and went up north kind of as the sun was setting. And then uh, I came back south, mostly after the sunset. It's as hot and humid as you'd expect, even during winter down here, you're surrounded by warm water. Gulf Stream on one side and then shallow Atlantic water on the other side. It's just a hot, humid mess down here. And then when you get the southerly winds, we're only, I don't know, 20, 25 degrees north, I think. And uh, you start to get those tropic, heavy, tr thick, humid, tropical winds. Guess we're seeing how good my microphone is as this plane flies over. Hopefully you can't actually hear it. But look at this beautiful, I love all the trees. Uh, it's just a spectacular place to visit. Unfortunately, I'm not the only person that knows it's a great place to visit during this time of year. It is quite literally their peak season. The summers when everything gets cheap down here but nobody wants to come down here because it's the tropics. I mean, it's tropical, hot, humid, sticky weather. I'm sure that's when all the bugs show up and all that other stuff. So this really is kind of that choice time to come down here, but everybody else comes down here too. I haven't really been alone since I got to South Florida. It's, it's a shift for me because I've spent so much time off on my own doing my own thing before this. And then to come down here where there's tons of people, everything costs money, uh, people spend a lot of money to live down here, so they really don't like the idea of vans parking in front of their houses or wherever. feeling this strong southerly wind right now and there's a lot of uh, interesting oh there's pines over there oh there's pines behind me check this out a beautiful pine tree so this is I was reading the sign as I came in and it's talking about how the salt gets into the water source and just kills the pines I mean to me it's amazing that there's a water source here we're just surrounded by salt water so it's like it's just fascinating to me it's not what I really expected, but those are all pines, the tall trees. They really stick out because they're a lot taller than everything else. You see a lot of dead ones though. So on this side of the road, they're all dead. And you just see the branches, if you can see them behind me. And then on this other side here, this seems to be a little bit higher land. There's the tall pines behind me.
very, very pretty. Florida is a really, really pretty place, full of a lot of great people. There's some people that are elsewhere, but what I think I like, elsewhere in their heads, what I think I like though is a lo there's a lot of presence here, a lot of people just living here. I mean, it's hard to ignore. Either you're hot and wet, or it's raining, or you're getting bit by insects. <laughs> Every Everything snaps you back to where you're at. Beautiful. So we're gonna walk down to the end of this road and see what we find. Here we go. All right, let's go. Come on, let's go. the end of the road here. Uh, Winnie is panting like crazy because it's hot and humid and it's hard to cool down but we're not moving too fast so she should be just fine. It's just really frustrating for audio quality because it's just this panting dog in the background constantly. But we'll see if it's actually a problem or not. Panting dog. Can't be helped. That's how she cools down so I'm okay with it. She's chilling in the shade here what little shade there is out here. And I'm being a dumb human and sitting in the sun. I wish I could fly my drone here, but it's a wildlife refuge and I just don't think it's okay. There's some angry animal over there. I don't know what it was. It's super peaceful out here. It's nice to finally have some relaxed space. Um, I definitely need this more than I don't need it, if that makes sense, but uh, I'm not complaining, I'm not in feet of snow, I'm not cold, I'm in shorts, I'm in a t-shirt, and uh, I get to be hot all day rather than cold all day. It's a nice way to avoid the cold of the north and to avoid winter. I haven't avoided a winter in a long time. Uh, the, only the last time I did it, I was basically on deployment, so it's nice to just be enjoying some warm climate for once. nice way to avoid the heat of the the air is fresh and this is the most and I'm being a dumb human and sitting right in front of every right in the middle of the but we haven't seen any water on either side of this uh, wa um, 